So the way to add somebody somebody's RSS feed to um, Iowa Preps boards really really simple. Uh, first, you have to actually go in and sign up, uh, sign them up as a contributor. Um, so I won't go over that in this little video. But once they're signed up as a contributor, um, go over here to Settings, uh, WP Omatic, and then you get this screen. So right now there are only two active feeds going into Iowa Prep Sports. Um, and then the way you do it is you click on Add Campaign. Uh, create a title. So for example, we'll just pick, um, it doesn't really matter, but make sure it's a title that that makes sense to people even if um, if it's not you looking at it. So um, we're going to pick Mark Morehouse's feed. So Mark Morehouse, um, active of course, feeds. And then um, obviously, I mean obviously you know how to add um, an RSS feed, but we'll just do it here for uh, sake of uh, demonstration. So I think is that dot com. Go down to Mark Morehouse if that's that's the one you need. Click on that. It's a little slow here, but so here's his RSS feed. So really, really simple. Obviously, um, it's going to open here in this window. And here's uh, the feed to his stories. And then go back to the WPO Matic. And all you got to do is uh, paste it in there. Uh, categories. Now, to get it in that right category, uh, it has to go into the community section. So click community. You can also click any other one. So if this is actually um, uh, the Albernet coach or somebody from Albernet, and it's always Albernet related, you can also check Albernet. Um, you can check as many as you want that apply, but it is important to check community. Um, we write not really that important if it's um, the entire content. Um, there are a couple things that let you link back to them, and I'll um, I'll go over those in the next video here. Um, options. Um, I think these actually don't matter. I just change them to 10 minutes or 21 minutes. Doesn't really matter. Um, so just do that. Cache image. That's fine. Use feed date. Uh, perform pingbacks. Probably not published. And then here, it's really important to actually go to um, to uh, to the author. So whatever whoever you pick here, that's the person that will show up. I always change this to two or three. Uh, post title links to source kind of up to you if you want to do that. What happens when you do that and people uh, click on the headline, so this example right here, you click on the headline, it actually goes to um, their website. So I personally think that's okay to do, but it's kind of up to you um, if, if that's what you want to do. So <coughs> excuse me, let me just show you a couple things here on um, the custom template that allows you to do a couple of different things. Uh, bum, campaigns. And I think one of them um, that does this, let's just see here. You can probably do this without even having to copy and paste. I usually have to go check. So custom template uh, content, that's automatically if you do one of these, um, it actually um, links to um, <coughs> links to their website. Some people's RSS feeds only show like a little bit of the story, so this makes it nice that they can click through, and um, that's how that works. So then all you have to do is click on submit, and it'll start fetching it. I think I think it's set up to to automatically check like every. Um, every 22 minutes or so anyways. So any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, Christoph T at sourcemedia.net.